Hello and welcome to the course. In this video, you will learn about IT and cloud service models that are available today. You'll learn that each one has strengths and weaknesses, and that it's not simply a one-size-fits-all world. IBM has a range of cloud offerings to match up with a broad range of clients, going from startups to large enterprises, with capabilities that are interesting and useful to individual professional developers, students, and even scaling up to large IT development shops. You'll learn at a high level about each of these offerings and get an introduction to Bluemix, IBM's cloud platform for developers and enterprises. Here's what you'll understand after this module so you'll have the foundation to move forward through the rest of this course. What are the standard IT and cloud service models and what are the impacts and capabilities of each choice? We'll cover IBM cloud offerings for each of these service models. First, there's Bluemix infrastructure, formerly known as SoftLayer which provides a full-service infrastructure-as-a-service platform. Bluemix also provides a range of platform-as-a-service offerings. It's one of the most comprehensive and integrated PaaS environments available. IBM has a broad range of products available as a software-as-a-service model and runs the IBM Marketplace to catalog IBM and partner SaaS offerings. Finally, you'll hear about the IBM Cloud Garage method, an award-winning DevOps methodology that is working to help clients transform their IT to cloud. Timing is critical if your apps and the functionality they provide are to keep up with the new expectations and competition that the app revolution has generated. This diagram shows the role of management of key components for each service model type, from traditional on-premises to software as a service. The components in light blue are managed by clients or their ops or development teams. And as you go to the right, through the cloud service models, more and more of these darker components are managed for the client by the service provider. There's a sliding scale here that spans control and agility factors. The client has more control and higher customization on the left-hand side over on traditional on-premises model. Moving to the right, you'll see there's a higher degree of standardization and a faster time to market. Core IT represents everything you own and manage in your data centers. The full stack is shown here. This is still a critical part of enterprise IT, and let's take a look at why it is beneficial and what it takes to manage all of this. First off, the core IT benefits. It's as stable and customizable as the customer wants. The only main limitation is cost. It's necessary for certain solutions. Core IT still has value in many scenarios, for example, transaction processing and it houses a lot of the investments that most companies have already made. Customer data, inventory, SAP, you name it. Core IT does have a big time commitment. It typically takes weeks to set up an environment and deploy an initial app, and the customer has to manage the entire stack as shown. Further, they have to maintain the hardware and software and all the ongoing requirements, think environment, uptime, fixes, upgrades. Dedicated staff are necessary. So, Core IT doesn't lend itself to the experimental nature of development that we're starting to see here in the cloud and app revolution. Infrastructure as a service was the cloud's initial answer to the need for faster deployments, faster environment setup, etc. By abstracting the infrastructure from the customer, it manages infrastructure resources in a resource pool with self-service provisioning, rapid elasticity, and all available as measured services. Server virtualization in the enterprise data center alone does not accomplish this dynamic vision and characteristics. Only when infrastructure resources are provided and manages a set of capacity services can the data center be treated as a true software-defined environment. The benefits of infrastructure as service is that networking, storage, server, virtualization, and sometimes more are managed by the service provider. It's the most customizable in terms of being able to control the environment on the customer side of the cloud offerings. As a result, it supports solutions where customizability of OS, middleware, and runtime are needed. The infrastructure as a service time commitment still is substantial. The customer has to set up and manage the operating system and the middleware and the runtime sources, maybe some services as well. These will take at least a matter of days to set up to reach an initial deployment state. Also, the customer has responsibility for maintenance and upgrades of these components, operating system, middleware, runtime, and other associated services. IBM Bluemix infrastructure, formerly known as SoftLayer, 
provides access to infrastructure as a service offerings. It is a highly flexible architecture that's got one platform on the cloud for public virtual servers, private virtual servers, and bare metal servers. It provides a unified systems management interface and a rich API. It has a technology neutral platform. It has support for a broad range of operating systems and virtualization platforms. The key resources that it offers, you can get a dedicated bare metal server custom configured to your specification. The wide selection from low-end CPU all the way through GPU platforms. You can install anything you want and use it as a building block. Provides virtual machines, provides off-server storage options, NAS, SAN, object storage. It supports a private or hybrid cloud model with direct links to your enterprise data centers. It has hardware firewalls and virtualized firewalls and load balancers. You can manage your own IP addresses, subnets, and VLANs within the environment. And it also includes a number of services, backups, vulnerability scanning, object storage, monitoring, messaging, content delivery network, email, and so on. Next, let's look at platform as a service from a model perspective. Now, the concept of composable solutions in a cloud environment, which consists of finer grain services that can be recombined to create new capabilities, is a key element that's emerging in cloud applications. Composable environments can contain cloud services, which bring together operational, development, application, database, and third-party services, all with embedded monitoring and management capabilities. Platforms as a service provide all of these capabilities for a developer to consume. All the developer needs to do is bring their code and their data. Here are the benefits of PaaS environments. You can set up your environment and deploy apps quicker than other offerings, in particular infrastructure as a service or traditional IT. A service provider manages the infrastructure and the platform, handling operating system security patches, firewalls, and all of the rest. From a time perspective, it's now minutes to an initial deployment, and the developer can handle everything on their own. And maintenance and upgrades of the platform and infrastructure are handled by the service provider. IBM Bluemix provides a wide range of compute deployment options in a platform-as-a-service model. These platform-as-a-services model are based upon open standards, providing a cloud platform for building, managing, and running applications of all types, web, mobile, big data, IoT, and so on. In addition to these compute models, Bluemix brings a full suite of cloud services all in one place, such as API management and integration, DevOps, cloud integration, big data, analytics, security, Watson, and all of these things help you enhance your development experience and provide rich features for your applications. So whether you're creating apps for the web or mobile or IoT or for big data, Bluemix can help you build them smarter and get them to market faster. And we'll be introducing more detail about Bluemix capabilities later on through the course. Bluemix does support a range of deployment models. IBM Cloud supports environments which are public, meaning services and runtimes are available for use by anybody within IBM data centers. There's a dedicated model, which means that the services and the runtimes are provided for a single organization for use within the IBM Cloud. And lastly, there's the local model, which means that the cloud services are deployed behind an organization's own firewall. Taken together, the Bluemix platform provides a rich set of features and deployment options to meet every need that you have. Let's look at the software as a service capability. Software as a service is a place where software providers share IT resources such as application software services between customers to enable self-service and rapid elasticity and also pay-per-use pricing. Contrasting with infrastructure as a service and platform as a service, the consumers of software as a service solutions are often line of business rather than IT or developer driven choices. Everything is managed by the provider and there's no need for end users to manage infrastructure, servers, or even purchase and install software. Another key feature is that SaaS solutions are usually available almost instantaneously after sign up. The provider simply creates a new instance for each customer in an automated fashion and away they go. So IBM has transformed the IBM marketplace 
to deliver a broad portfolio of software as a solution, service solutions around business process, big data, analytics, IT operations, commerce, smarter cities, workforce, and more. These can all be deployed as part of a deeper business strategy to transform every aspect of an organization. With a robust cloud portfolio and proven track record in the industry, IBM is committed to delivering an innovative SaaS experience that combines the agility, compatibility, and cost efficiency needed for every organization's success now and into the future. IBM has moved many of its enterprise products to run in an as-a-service model with many unique applications, each designed to address unique business processes, industries, and function. Business processes as a service, social business, analytics, security, content management, digital commerce, and more. All of these solutions have come together and are available through the IBM Marketplace. But the IBM Marketplace isn't just for IBM solutions. The IBM Marketplace is an online store and catalog where service providers, IBM or business partners, can publish their cloud services and consumers can purchase these services. IBM's Marketplace contains a variety of software as a service products that can be up and running within minutes of order. Some of the services published on Marketplace from both IBM and business partners are shown on the slide. More partners are publishing their applications as a service on the IBM Marketplace all the time. And last but not least, let's talk about the IBM Cloud Garage Method. The IBM Cloud Garage Method combines industry practices including IBM design thinking, lean startup, agile development, and continuous delivery to build innovative solutions. It outlines a DevOps methodology that focuses around seven practice areas. Culture, which is at the center of it all. Think, code, deliver, run, manage, and learn. The garage method brings together the practices, tool chains, and architectures you need to be successful. And this wraps up our overview of cloud service models and IBM offerings for the cloud. Thanks for listening.